It just so happens, ladies and gentlemen, that I know a wizard. And that wizard's name is Don May Jr. Dead Pen Radio, where the living meet the dead. Hello, everybody. It's Uncle Bill from Dead Pit Radio. And today I'm going to be reviewing one of the greatest Italian horror films to ever come out in one of the best editions to ever be released, probably the best edition ever released, that is 1985's Demons. I love the cover art, just the original cover art here. Um, I've always loved this movie, Lamberto Bava's masterpiece, and talked about him at length before. Going to be talking about this release. This is the standard edition, as you can see. Synapse Films released the standard edition 4K of Demons. There was a limited edition set that I did not get, so I'm glad that I have this now. Um, I did not get it for the simple fact that I had the Arrow version, and I was like, well, like, how much better can this look than the Arrow version? But let me tell you. Let me be the first person to tell you right now. I have maybe a short list of 10 4Ks that I think are exceptional and like bump the quality of the film up just by how good the 4K looks itself. And this and another one I'm going to be talking about later in a later review is one of those. I don't know the technical ins and outs of how somebody renders a 4K like this. But I can tell you with 100% degree certainty that this is one of the best looking 4Ks that I have seen. Suspiria, the 4K is another one. Uh, Blue Underground Zombie is another one. Um, there are several. Uh, Ghoulies, the Ghoulies 4K is another one. But this one is right up there with the best that I have ever seen before. Um, Synapse Films and Dame Jr., I don't know how the hell they keep doing this and making these releases look the way that they do. But they have done it yet again. And I will sing the praises of this film and this edition to anybody. If you don't have this edition, then you need to buy this edition. If you got the Arrow edition like I did, that's great. That's cool. I think that mine was the Blu-ray edition anyway, but this 4K blows all of that stuff out of the water. So let me talk about the film a little bit. It's a classic film and it's got a great kind of, you know, a great atmosphere and a great plot. It's basically just a story of a group of strangers that meet at a movie theater and one of them gets scratched by a mask that is in the lobby of the theater and she turns into a demon and then anybody else that she comes in contact with, she absolutely just destroys, you know, rips them apart and they become demons. And so this whole theater becomes infested with all these demons. And the kills in this movie are some of the most graphic ones that you've seen. Even now, some of the special effects are really, really good. Like they include some interesting things like, uh, you know, people's throats being torn apart, their eyes being gouged out, a monster like coming up out of a person's back. They had some cool effects with fingernails like back then where they would show like fingernails growing out of their, out of their hands as they turn into the demon and their teeth would fall out and be replaced with fangs. Uh, one of the coolest visual effects was the simplest in this movie too, which was the glowing eyes that you see coming up of the tunnel and they're all kind of running towards the remaining survivors. But uh, yeah, it's the story of a couple of people trying to escape um, this movie theater where this film is being shown, which is also a film about what's going on in the theater. So it's a film about demons coming to life. And that's also like what begins to happen as well. Great splatter Italian horror film. You know, it's one of the classics. So like most people that are watching this review have probably already seen this movie, but I, here's the thing that's interesting about that to me. I thought I'd seen this movie, but you have not really seen this movie until you get this edition of this movie. I, I'm not joking about that. I'm not like, you know, blowing smoke up anybody's ass. Like I saw things in the movie in 4K that I'd never really noticed before. 
because of how clear the picture was and how much it was cleaned up. So I can't really stress enough, like how good this is. Um, this edition of this movie is outstanding. So that being said, if you open it up, it's got some cool things that actually come with the standard version too, which includes uh, the Metropole or Metrop Metropole, yeah, uh, ticket that's in the film, as well as, and you can look at that where it talks about the transfer of the film as well. It actually talks about where it was kind of uh, rendered to. And it does utilize the original 35 uh, millimeter camera negative, which as we all know is the best way to restore a film. And it's got the synapse uh, little catalog in there. It's what the actual disc looks like, which is actually pretty cool. And special features on this, there is a ton of them. So I will try to do like a brief kind of synopsis of them though. This is newly remastered in 4K from the original camera negative in Dolby Vision. Two versions of the film, the full length original cut in English and Italian and the shorter US version. I watched the uh, English longer version. Uncompressed DTS HDMA English and Italian audio mixes from the original archival audio masters. Uncompressed English 2.0 theatrical mono. New audio commentaries by critics Kat Ellinger and Heather Drain, co-host of the Hell's Bells podcast. Why the fuck don't Dom may ask us to do some of these commentaries? Like, so, do you, I, I have a feeling that we would be, you know, as popular as some of these. Um, produced by Dario Argento, a new visual essay by author and critic Michael McKenzie. Uh, old audio commentary with director Lamberto Bava and SPFX artist Sergio Stavaletti. Composer Claudio Simonetti and actress Greta Greta, who plays the main demon, and she's amazing in this film. Defining an era in music, interview with Simonetti, splatter spaghetti style interview with uh, Luigi Cozy, who's great, um, and a bunch of other, bunch of other kind of awesome featurettes in here too, including uh, stunt work, Carnage at the Cinema. With Bava, uh, Dario and the Demons, producer with uh, Dario Argento. This is a killer disc to own. I'm just going to say that for 100% degree certainty. Um, got the ticket. You need to take the ticket, the golden ticket, as it were, and go out and buy this edition of Demons as soon as humanly possible. Uh, I think. By the time you see this video, uh, this version, the standard version, will be available to buy. And um, listen, I do not um, say this lightly, but this is one of the best restored 4Ks that I have seen. Like I said, there's there's a short, short list of ones that I can think of where I was blown away when I first watched them. But I was watching this and I was like, this looks like an entirely different. It looks like, I mean, you, you know, it's the movie, but you're like, it looks like it was just made. It was restored to the point where it's perfect. Like it almost makes me want to tear up just thinking about it. I mean, there's a lot of people where this is their favorite horror film. There's a lot of people where this is their, at least their favorite Italian horror film. And this is the kind of version that you want for your favorite film or your favorite horror film or your favorite Italian horror film. This is the version that we need. It's the version we deserve. So yet again, praise goes out to Don May and Synapse Films. Uh, the Demons 4K, buy it. I don't have anything else to say. Just buy the damn thing now, violently. I'd like to tell people to thumbs up the video, Uncle Bill. Would you? Yes. Thumbs it up with violence and fury and just love everything about it right uncle bill yeah you hit the heart button then you hit the ass button then you can hit the go fuck yourself button follow that up with the i don't give a shit button there's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpit.com simply the best horror shirts on t public there are others 
but they all suck. You can get some dead pit radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The hills have eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com Special thanks goes out to our supporters on Patreon. Do you know what kind of stuff you can get on Patreon, Uncle Bill, starting at only $1 a month? What's that? Access to every Dead Pit show since 2005. We got almost 200 fan commentaries that we've done over the decades. We have a literal jukebox full of songs and thousands of reviews. I don't even know how many shows are up on there now that we've done over the years. Hundreds of thousands. You need to figure this out now and subscribe to us on Patreon and YouTube and Instagram and help us to one million. The, the road to a million subscribers starts today. So deadpitonpatreon.com, join today. Tiers start at only a dollar, but I'd recommend at least the $10 tier. You can do 50. The stock market's crashing around us, folks, but send us money. 